come out of terminal or exit B. Super simple. Just walk right to it. It's totally awesome. And we're on our way. So it's easily the coolest day that we've had here. And um, so I have a jacket. Gracie has a sweater on. Uh, I have a scarf with me, so we should be good. But you know, we're in another sort of giant tourist gig into the the aerial tram, which will be fun. Our my scarf's in my bag. There you want it? All right. Um, and let's see how much were the tickets. It was twenty four five four or five dollars basically today. Um, and our tickets are good after two thirty, which is good because there'll be less folks. Um, this is a very sort of interesting thing going on right here. I assume this is some type of fountain that they have here. But anyway, Grace is taking the mighty selfies. There is the tram thingy that we have over there. We have two hours to wait, so we're gonna like just basically walk around a little bit. We're hungry, we're gonna grab some lunch, and then we will be on the car. When it becomes 2.30 and it's our time to go redeem our tickets, that uh, a lot of these tours will have left by then. And we will be able to get on and get in early. And I don't know if you can tell, that's sort of the entryway way up there. There's a queue of people that, you know, wait for these. And it's, it's yeah, it's a giant building, right? But, um... It's also a lot of people up there. So greetings, what's going on? It's Mike, it's my So we're almost at the beginning uh, of getting on the crystal cabin, I believe. And they only call it that because the floor is made out of glass, so you can see through it. So Grace is pretty excited. <laughs> so it wasn't so bad. We got the, uh, we got our tickets by like 2.38, which is fine. And then of course there's a queue to wait until we get there. No different than skiing, really. I do hate lines though, so I mean I know it will be a experience and it will be a once in a lifetime because there's no way I'm waiting in this line ever again. Uh, but I'm glad we're doing it. We'll check it as we start getting on and I'll show you the floor uh, on our way up. <laughs> so right now it's not that exciting, of course, but wait till we get moving. Oh my god! 
<laughs> We've been doing this the whole time. All of a sudden, it gets scary. Well, yeah. <laughs> this is fine, huh? Yeah, I think it's 24 minutes. The whole thing? Yeah, well, one end of the other, yeah. I think that's right. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, you, so you can walk. I mean, you can walk. You can walk the whole thing. Indeed, it was pretty cool, I will say. And then we will leave back through here, which it doesn't look like the line is going to be terribly long. However, we're here to check stuff out. It is, uh, what time is it? 3... 328. All right. So, from the time that we actually walked upstairs to get our tickets, which was 2 o'clock, uh, to the time that we set foot on the other end is an hour and a half. Oh, you want to get your picture by, by luck? So there's definitely opportunity to buy stuff, <laughs> as all tourist things are. But thank God there's a subway. Ah, uh, China. Yeah, right. Best meal we had, we walked in, no one spoke any English, nothing in the menu was written in English, and I just pointed to a picture and he smiled, and then we had awesome food. So the walking with the Buddha thing, we're definitely gonna do that. Obviously we just came from there. You can get gelato, there is Japanese food, there is, you can get pizza over there, and of course there's a subway. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's for tourists, right? That's the only reason you do this. You don't do this in the middle of your lunch hour to go get food. But it's cool. This is actually pretty interesting. I think, I think we get access to this with our Kluk Pass. I can't So it's an interesting sort of feeling up here when the men, they have, you know, pearls for sale, which of course you don't usually mine for pearls in the middle of the forest. Um, but yeah, China Art Window, that makes complete sense to me up here. But um, the Big Buddha also makes a lot of sense to me. I'm a big fan. Uh, at, the, at the outside of every attraction, of course, there's a souvenir shop. Uh, I mean, it's not like Disney is uh, cornered the market on being able to sell swag. Tons and tons of buses over there. You absolutely can take a bus up here. You can take a taxi. You can walk. Um, and you can drive. Or you can take the tram, like most people do. Like we do. Peking Opera. So that's, you know, chop story. We have water, so we're good. Otherwise, I'd say let's buy water before we go on this walk. I think it's 253 steps. I'm what? not. I'm not totally accurate. What? Could be. Could not be. Let's see if it says over here. Tian Tan Buddha statue.